Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. This is episode 3 in our series so far. In our last episode, it was our first day of school, and we learnt a couple of spells. Three to be precise. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be going to Hogsmeade, we're going to get our wand of our very own, as well as other school supplies. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so I think this is Lenora. Let's talk to her first. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Makes sense. Have you learned Have anything you about it? Have any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Ah. Are there other empty paintings like this around I'm the school? I'm guessing so. Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, so let's Do try this. Do find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Okay. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. Oh. I so should look around in case it's nearby. We've got to go there. Um, maybe it's here. Stairs. Um. It's here. Maybe this side. Hey, level one lock. Ah, oh. I'm guessing we need to learn Alahamora. All right, let's go back to the painting. All right, so stairs. It looks like there's a. I don't know what that is. Like a statue or something. Could it be down here? No. Wait. No. Oh, yes. Let's get you back yeah. to your frame, little moth. Oh. At least you didn't do what that first. <laughs> ah. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, so where did that girl go. Oh, there she is. Alright, Lenora. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Follow the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is a meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. <laughs> the moth! I should have seen that! Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, we're level 4 now. Okay, guys, looks like it's time to go to Hogsmeade. Alright, um, we're not currently tracking anything. Okay, let's go to our map. And here's the quest. So track quest. Okay, looks like this is the way to go. <sighs> Rolling through doors is so much easier. Ah, oh, here we go. See, did you see that thing there? I'm guessing well, if I fancy meeting you here. do this. <laughs> Revelio. Ah. Okay. So all the other stuff that had that glow to it could have done something. Hey, what's this? Oh. Okay. No worries. Alright. Hi, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Ah. My new charge. 
I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? Yes, it, it is. It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go. Pretty cool outside. Wow, it's huge. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course, you're the only oh, no. one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Teach me some uh, forbidden spells, and we'll be even. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Oh, blue powder. You? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention right. record. Spend That's a lot cool. of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Ah, <laughs> the bridge, it's Speaking got hogs for hogs. Mate. hogs yeah. might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Hey. Oh, just one moment. Revelio. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Oh. Okay. What about these? Can I collect them? Oh. That's cool. Okay. I'm guessing we're gonna need these for a spell or something. Uh, a potion, I should say. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What? What's going on? See for yourself. Oh. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. What's that? A hippogriff? You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? I. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I was right. Why? Hippogriffs. Ah, uh, there they are. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Okay. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Where's are oh, these ruins here? Oh, there. Okay. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively hey. enormous. Leaping it toad caps, huh? I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Anything Perhaps here? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? No, nope, You nothing. still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Hey! <laughs> That's so cool that we can see him. I bet you no one else can. Well... Only a few, I guess. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. <laughs> so how does he see Thestral's... Did he cause a death or something like that? Uh, Mr. Moon! Toad cap. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Oh, that's Looks a bit here. worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right He's at drunk. me. <laughs> Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and 
terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. This a guy's demigod. crazy. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. Pumpkin juice? I've never juice. seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Hey, I know those things. I'm just collecting all these Mr. things. Mr. Moon is quite I don't know what we do with them. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Wow, there we go, Hogsmeade. Nice. Another cat. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. It's nice. The roofs are like massive though. Ah, so how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Okay. No worries. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Here we go. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Open the map. Okay, Hogsmeade map shows shops and points of interest we can track them by selecting one okay circle to exit the map okay let's go back oh no this is just its own map ah uh, okay yeah so here's hogwarts and then that yeah okay no worries okay so we're going to our potions place here it is Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Okay. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your okay. first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for okay. now... Let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes. What can I do for you today? All right, so... Um, how come I can't move? Ah! <laughs> I'm using the, like, the D-pad instead of the, the joystick. All right, so... Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the skin. Okay. Okay, healing potion. Ah, oh, the Wigan world. Feel free to nice. take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Can I sell stuff? Oh, I can sell my gear. Okay. Um, oh, you got combat tools? Hmm. 
<laughs> Troll bogeys. Alright, that's it, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, off to the next shop. Okay, so here's Ollivander's. Oh. <laughs> I keep rolling through things. Alright. Let's ring the bell. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Nope. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, There's a green one down there. Uh, that looks mm, like... Perhaps. Yeah, that one. Yes. A rare wood, 13 it's a and box that doesn't look inches, dragon the same. String. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> this is proving it? to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Why is it a green box? <laughs> yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. No details about it. Classic grey. Type of wood. Sky Amor. Dragon Heartstring. Quite bendy. Ten and three quarter inches. Okay. Oh, we can. Can we edit it? Is that what it means? How intriguing. That's cool. I was gonna say, when we got to our second one, can we actually... Who Curious on indeed. earth would select this? Oh, this kind of looks like the Elder Wand. I think I'll maybe just stick with the classic. How intriguing. Um, black, yeah. Alright, so... Wood type, huh? Alright, let's just get an elder. 12 inches should be okay. And flexibility. Let's leave it as unyielding. Yep. Okay. Ah. Oh. So Dragon Heartstring serves as the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. Hair of the Unicorn that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. And the Feather of the Phoenix, capable of producing a great range of magic. Okay, so it's either powerful, consistent, and a great range. Um, to be honest, I'm all about that powerful magic, so let's select that. 
A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Oh, there we go. So let's go back to the beginning then. All right, so this is what we got. We've got an elder, a black elder wand with a dragon heartstring that is unyielding and 12 inches. Let's purchase that. What do you think? Extraordinary. Did I level up? <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, oh, cool. Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. No worries. Okay. Terms and scrolls, magic nip. Okay. So, uh, what's this? Terms and scrolls, that's at the entrance. And uh, magic nip. Is that this one? Nope. Um, how come I can't find it? Anyway, let's go to this one. Oh, magic nip. Ah, oh, that's the top. Okay, okay. An inquiring mind. Hey, buddy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Yeah. And then small potion station spellcraft. Okay. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Yeah, there's no point. I can't buy anything. Too expensive. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright, and to the other side of the map. Ooh, fireflies. Well, hello there. Oh. Hey, buddy. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. 
My speciality is portion ingredients, even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Yes, all right. I love that everything's Do have a look free. Around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go oh, and wow. find Sebastian. All right. Done. Hey, Revelio. I wonder if there's anything behind. No, nothing. Yep. Hey. Oh, so there's just two more pages left. You know what? I bet you one is gonna be in um in one of the buildings that we've gone into. Chest. Revelio. Dark head. Nice. That's cool. Uh, I can hear oh! <laughs> That's cool, that boar. Hey. Revelio. Ah, whoops. Did I get all the field guide maps or pages or something? That's crazy. I didn't even go into everything. Alright, so all these basic buildings are all locked, eh? Okay guys, time to meet up with Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Okay. Oh. Seem like that was an unforgettable curse. Goodness. Unforgivable a curse. Second troll. <laughs> unforgettable. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. 
Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Ah, of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. No. Oh, okay. Repairer. Ah, good as new. I'll go and see what he wants. Oh. Revenia. Nice. Repair it. Oh, it's pretty cool how you can do all of this. Got him in. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I repair a whole building. Oh, I can? Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Talk to the shopkeeper. Oh, in here? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Pavelio. Okay. All right. Um, first of all, there's a chest here. Um, can't get that one. All right. Okay. Sing my praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill. Clothia extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. Ooh. I own Gladrags, Carry as on. it were, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Nice. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? All right, let's Plenty try it on. Plenty of your perusal today. Take your time. All right, so looks like we can only get this one. All right. Offense, five. Nice. Can we preview it? Oh, it's just a school robe. Okay, let's just get it. Alright, you've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Okay, gear screen. Okay, defense, offense, top right of the screen. Continue. Cloaks and robes, press... Okay, um... So, cloaks and robes. Here's the second one. Let's equip that. Nice. Um, I can buy stuff, but I'm guessing I should save up my money, eh? Look at these. 500. 500 doesn't seem like a lot for, like, legendary equipment. Extraordinary, 375. 200. And then... Yeah, seems reasonably priced. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized Already by onto a it. troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Okay. All right. Time to follow Sebastian. Can we go faster? Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay, Serona. Oh, that's cool. 
least we didn't have to walk. Oh. A person walking down the stairs. Oh! Isn't that the... You said you could get to Grand the truck when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Did they see us? I don't think yep, so. What was that did. goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what happened to her voice? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only What's... brutes we usually have to deal Why with... Why is her voice so oh. deep? Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Ho oh, ho ho. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on oh. that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Okay, but I saw something. Revenia. Also, do I have a flying page here too? No, I doubt it. Oh, I see a chest up there. How do I get up? Oh, cool. I can eat stuff. I wonder, does that, like, give me health or whatever? Anyway, let's go talk to Sebastian. It's night time already. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Okay. Must return to your common room for night. Access the map. Yep. Okay, so select Hogwarts, 
fast travel to your common room. Here. Ah, oh, that one. Travel. Gotta love fast travel. Okay. Oh, there's my out. Level 8, nice. Okay guys, and just like that, another episode of Hogwarts Legacy has come to an end. Now, we got to see Ranrock again. Um, not sure what the connection is with all these bad guys and Rose. Not sure. Why is she so special? Is it because she can sense this, like, ancient magic or something? However, the only way we'll ever find out is if we continue with the story. Until next time guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye.